Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you two Japanese style sandwiches. So recently I made three videos on Japanese style pasta and now I'm making Japanese style sandwiches. So these sandwiches are pretty much with ingredients where you can find pretty much anywhere. It's actually pretty much Western and these kind of sandwiches I haven't seen outside of Japan. So I thought it might be kind of interesting to introduce you guys. And also this summer Japan held an Olympic. There were some press from outside and they were surprised how good the Japanese sandwiches were. And today I'm going to show you two variations. One is a tuna sandwich and the other is egg salad sandwich. And these are very easy to make so I hope you give this a try. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for two types of Japanese style sandwiches. With canned tuna, a little bit of lemon juice, and celery, I'm gonna make a similar to tuna salad kind of filling. And then with an egg and onion, I'm gonna make a egg salad type of filling. And for the seasoning, I have salt and pepper, and I'm also gonna use kewpie mayonnaise. So I do recommend using kewpie mayonnaise for this recipe, but of course you can use any other kind of mayonnaise. And then I have a couple slices of bread, and also a little bit of butter to coat the bread so that the bread doesn't get soggy. Then let's start cooking. I'm gonna first prepare the ingredients. So starting with the celery, probably not gonna use the whole thing, I'm just gonna eat half of it and then I'm just gonna cut them into small pieces so I'm gonna cut this in two strips and then just cut them as thin as possible. And next I'm gonna prepare the onion. I'm also not gonna need the whole thing, I'll probably just need a fourth of it or so. And for this, I just want to cut this as small pieces as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make slits like this. But don't go all the way, just leave a little bit attached here. Just, just kind of as thin as possible, like this. Like this here attached. And what I'm going to do is cut it like this so that you have small pieces. And then you'll just end up with this small end piece like this. And this small piece of onion, I want to soak it in water just for 5 to 10 minutes or so because uh, raw onion has this tanginess and we don't want that. So I'm just going to put this in water like this. So I'm going to let this soak in water for about 10 minutes or so. Now I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs. Recently I bought this gadget that kind of makes a hole in the egg. So I'm going to do that. Here you can see a hole in the egg. This just helps the egg to peel off when it's boiled. And to make the hot boiled egg, I'm going to set the timer to 12 minutes and cook the egg like this for 12 minutes. So this is ready. I'm going to take this out in cold water. Once this has cooled off slightly, I'm going to crack it open. I just like to go around like this and then you can peel off very easily. Perfectly hot boiled egg. Because I made the hold and so we have a little flat part here and it's very easy to peel. So here we have two hot boiled eggs. Now let's make the filling. I'm gonna start with a tuna filling. So in another video I said that you should throw this away in soil, not in the sink. But I got a suggestion that I should save it up and use it for like salad or something. So you can do that. Then here I'm going to put in the cut up celery. And here just a pinch of salt, a little black pepper. And then here about two tablespoons of cupy mayonnaise or any kind of mayonnaise. And then here a couple drops of lemon juice. And then just mix this up. Oh this looks so good. Now I'm gonna make some egg filling. So this cut up onion I'm gonna drain the water. So you want to squeeze out the water as much as possible. Otherwise the filling will be too watery and soggy and you don't want that. And then I'm gonna cut up the hard boiled egg. There's no really set size, just kind of small pieces. Put 
this in here. And in this, I'm also gonna put a pinch of salt, just not that much, and a load of black pepper as well. And also in here, about two to three tablespoons of kubi mayonnaise, or any kind of mayonnaise you have. So this is also finished. Now I'm finally ready to make the sandwich. Personally, I like to toast the bread, so I'm gonna do that now. So the bread is lightly toasted. I'm going to first coat the both sides of the bread with butter. This will prevent the bread from soaking up the water from the filling so that it won't be soggy. Just kind of very lightly on both sides. So if you're eating the sandwich right away, like me today, you don't need to put the butter like this, but um, I think it also adds to the flavor, so. so it's a preference thing. But if you're gonna eat the salad later, then you definitely wanna do this. So two sandwiches are made. If you're eating right away, you can just eat like this, but if you're eating later, then you might wanna just wrap it in saran wrap so that it doesn't go apart. And then I'm just gonna cut this diagonally so that it looks neat. Oh, this looks just perfect. Oh, this looks great as well. So this is finished, let's eat. Oh, this looks so great. Let's eat. Itadakimasu! Okay, let's start with this tuna sandwich. Itadakimasu! Mmm! Oh, this is so good. This combination of mayonnaise and tuna is just so perfect. And also, this is just so nostalgic for me. This just brings back so much memories from my childhood. Mm. Now let's have the egg sandwich. Mm. Mm. This is also great. Oh, this brings back the memory of a uh, field trip in the kindergarten or middle school. Because in school or in kindergarten we had served lunch, but when we had like field trips, then we had to bring our own back lunch. And a lot of kids of course brought the bento box, but my mother was working, so sometimes she did make bento, but she also made these kind of sandwiches. Because it was easy to make in the morning, this flavor is just so nostalgic for me. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Mm. More of the tuna sandwich. Mm. It's also good to have these kind of two different flavors so you don't get bored of the same flavor. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Mm, totally delicious. The last of the egg sandwich. Mm. Oh, this combination of QP mayonnaise and the boiled egg is also just so great. Mm. Oh, that was so delicious. So savory. Go so much stop! Oh, that was totally delicious. So as you saw, this is very easy to make. So this takes no more than like 20 to 30 minutes. And half of that time is waiting for the egg to boil. So I really hope you give this a try. And I made this video because I got a request for someone and I really feel like I'm making this channel with you guys because a lot of the ideas came from your questions or your requests. So if you have any questions, if you have any other requests, any small suggestions, I'm always so grateful. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And don't worry, in the next video, I'll be making something very Japanese. Till then, I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye.